hello guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to do a tarot reading uh for the actor for kim so hyun and i'm going to do like um sort of a forecast or you know a reading for the first part or maybe the first three months of 2025 uh for him um this is a general reading um I separate the reading in two parts. For example, the first, uh, the part of Habab, it's, uh, it's about, you know, his, uh, professional life. And then, you know, the, the other part is his personal life, um, or, you know, um, what's available for him. Um, and I pull an extra card as an advice for 2025 so yes uh, basically i'm going to start the 2025 readings with him um so yeah i decided to choose him i know a lot of people have been asking for an update for him individually because i did read for him and other people and i don't feel like i want to do like i think that it's, it hasn't been that long and honestly like um i i find it more valuable and interesting to read for him as an individual instead of you know associating him with other people um so yes uh let's do this uh the cards that he got we start with the five of swords the tower the eight of swords the four of pentacles the two of pentacles uh the judgment the king of wands six of cups um the queen of swords and the six of pentacles and then the extra card that i pulled he got the card of uh the handman the handman um so so yeah this is uh, the card that he got that is uh the keyword it says wisdom so yeah it's very interesting because i think definitely when i see this spread I have the feeling that overall probably 2025 is going to be still a, a year where he will have to stop and reflect a lot about his options um, or what is being offered to him or what is available for him. Honestly, I don't see much change or something significant happening in his life. I think that um it's it's more about him sort of trying to take things or projects or situations in his life as they come you know the handman is also like maybe things are not going to develop themselves as fast or as um, as intense as he would like you know i see a bit a, a bit of a very a slow moving energy in his life for 2025 probably um if it's about projects um, i can sort of see him like fighting to have a, 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 per, a, a specific role or something that is very important for him that he wants to have but at the same time i think that there's also something about him probably being in the middle of a very nasty argument with someone like does anyone know if he has like a contract with a company or with someone or with maybe people that manage him because i see him sort of wanting to set himself free from something um because you know the cars of above the five of swords the tower the eight of of swords um the four of pentacles the two of pentacles this of these cards these five cards represent his professional life so i see that 2025 is going to be a year where he's going to have to confront a lot of things uh there's something about him wanting to start over um he wants to sort of destroy I know it's harsh to say destroy, but that I think that he wants definitely to get rid of a certain image. So I wonder if maybe he wants to take like a riskier role or he wants to do something that it's very, it's not, it's something new. 
or it's very different from what he has been doing. And I, and I think that he he's fighting with people about this. Like, I don't know if maybe his management is like, no, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't associate yourself with these projects or with these people. Um, I think that he's, he feels like he he has been... He has been having some disagreements with the people that had managed his, his career. I think that every now and then they sort of let him get away with a few things. They let him do what he wants to do from time to time. But at the end, he does feel like a prisoner. He does feel like he's not as free as he would like. Uh, for his roles or maybe what he chooses or what he ends up doing is not 100% like, oh, this is something that I chosen for myself or this is something that I really wanted to do. Um, I see him wanting to maybe get into darker roles, you know, like more risky, more um, scandalous even. Um because I think that he definitely wants to destroy like an old image. He's like, I want to destroy this to start all over. Like I want a new face in my career. I want like a new era, maybe something a bit much more um, mature. He wants to show his mature self. Um, I mean, I think that he's a very, he's a very, um, he doesn't like to lose. So I can sort of see him fighting to get something for himself and him getting it at the end because he will be very insistent. He will be very insistent or he will be very, he will not give um, people the chance to convince him otherwise. You know, he's sort of like, he in 2025 there's a project that he wants to do so bad but somehow he's tied to a contract so i wonder because with the tower definitely there's something there's that there's there could be like a contract that is ending associations that are ending something about himself being finally set free from something because he enters 2025 with with this energy of like i have to fight for my rights i would say or for what is mine or for what i want to achieve um he doesn't feel feel entirely free um i think in his mind he also doesn't feel free um this is why i'm i'm wondering if this is like he has been sort of like tied to a contract or uh, he gave his word to someone i don't know but i think that he feels so suffocated like you guys leave me no choice like i really i'm i'm really like not moving from here until you guys let me do what i want to do and they would definitely let him maybe take a role or, or a project that is going to be very close to his court, that he really is going to feel very fulfilled. But with the Two of Pentacles, there's something about them probably still having a hold on him and being like, yeah, you can do this, that you really want to do this, but at the same time, you will have to do another thing, another gig or another... Um, um, something else that it's what we want for you. So, so I see that that you know the the, the sort of like they let him get away with something, but at the end they they still reclaim you know their 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 assertion or their dominance over his career. Um. And he will adapt because definitely he's, I get that this is, this has to do with money. And he's like, you know, I'm not going to give in. Um, 
but at the same time he's like you know if you guys don't give me what i want i'm going to make your lives difficult so you know you better treat me right so it's like a push and pull from different parts you know both parties are annoyed with each other i don't see like a ceo or someone important but i think that definitely there's this insatisfaction coming from him about his career or i don't know i don't think i don't know if he had a scandal or something like that that sort of like um stopped his career because actually i believe that this year has been very successful for him but somehow i think that he's like you know this is going to be the last project that i'm going to do of this kind i want to try something new i want to be more rebellious i want to be much more mature i want to take very serious roles um and he probably has a project in mind. He has a project in mind. Um, but he will have to, you know, navigate uncertainty. I don't think, and also with the handman, I don't think he will have like this ownership or power over certain decisions. I still think that 2025 is going to be a year that is going to be probably very slow. If he gets to work on certain projects, it's going to be very slow moving. Very slow moving, maybe some interruptions, some things that change at the last minute. Um, but I see him committed, nevertheless. I see him committed because this is something that he wants to do, or maybe he admires the director, or maybe he admires the you know the people that is involved in this he's like okay i will take this i don't know how i will make it but i will make it but definitely with the, the handman as the energy for the year i definitely see him very tied up literally like he doesn't have much room to to move and to expand you know and to maybe achieve this level of freedom i don't think that in 2025 is going to be that year i think that he will have to um yeah remain in his position probably been very stubborn to get what he wants at the end but i see him very very like disappointed and also very annoyed i see that probably he has issues with people i don't know if it's the people that works with him or for him but he he's He's been having very uncomfortable discussions with people because I think that he's not he's not satisfied, you know, he's not satisfied. Or maybe what they want him to do or participate in in 2025 is not what he wants. It's not what he wants. Um, I can sort of see him that he wants to set himself free from something, either a contract or if he's part of a company, he wants to be out of that. Um, he feels so restricted and misunderstood as an artist that, mm, yeah, it's going to be a bit uncomfortable. But I see productivity. I mean, I see him working on something. It's just that, um, you know, all the effort and everything mostly comes from him because I don't see him getting help, actually. I see him insisting on being part of something, but I see that... He's on his own in this sense. There's no one helping him out. Um, in his personal life, we have the Judgment, the King of Wands, we have the Six of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. So, yeah, it's very interesting, um, all these six especially, but it, probably, you know, his in the sentimental personal life of his, in here, I can sort of see him probably gaining much more wisdom and probably becoming much more secure because I believe that maybe he will go through some kind of, you know, ups and downs and also maybe some upheaval or some, some, um, some very uncomfortable situations in his professional life. Maybe he's been very frustrated because of this. 
but this is sort of going to maybe help him see his personal life under another light. I think that probably for him, for Suhyun, somehow, you know, when he's doing great in his professional aspect, he tends to maybe not pay much attention to his personal affairs or to, you know, relationships or, you know, feelings and, and you know, and connections because he's so busy maybe or he's so hardworking or he's so professional that he either does good in one aspect and, and not so good in the other. But I think that maybe because his professional life or maybe his business life, if he owns a business, I don't know, um, I think that he, he will go through some very uncomfortable moments of a lot of commotion, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of chaos, I would say, you know, starting with the judgment and, and with the king of ones, I think that he he's going to start to pay more attention to his personal life, maybe thinking about his family or thinking about his loved ones, thinking about his friends, uh, the people that he really cares about. And and him sort of here with the, the energy of the king of, of ones, I can see him sort of becoming much more brave and passionate about defending his people or defending these special moments that he has with his loved ones, you know, opening up a bit much more his court, you know, maybe he will get much more courageous and he will become much more um, expression, like he will show much more emotion, he will show much more care and, and, and just, you know, becoming a bit much more emotional, I would say sensitive, um, but also a gentleman, you know, the, the king of wands, it gives me that he's finally owning that maybe if there were some relationships that didn't work out in the past, it was because of his immaturity or it was because he was too busy or it was because he had different priorities. I think that probably he's a guy that when he is, you know, working or when he's invested in learning something, like his whole universe it becomes that. But in 2025, because it seems like his professional life is going to be a bit messy, or maybe he will have to wait, pause and wait, you know, he will have time to review his personal life, his circle of friends, who does he love, you know. Um, I see him just feeling very nostalgic, very... Um, you know, very, he misses someone. Definitely he misses someone, you know, with the six of cups. Um, and I have this queen of swords here, you know. So I think that definitely there's something about him, um, you know, definitely thinking about the good times that maybe he had with, with a special someone. Um, that maybe this person is somehow like, I don't know, he, he, I don't think he ruined things with this person, but this person could sort of be a friend or, I don't know, someone that he knows from before, from a from a very long time ago. Um, but I think that he's like, you know, I was so childish back then or I was so immature that I didn't see this person's feelings or I didn't appreciate it enough. So now, you know, I think that he's also going to run into this person again or he's going to see this person again like like i don't know why the, the the word that keeps coming out to my mind is the past is coming back the past is coming back so it, it's somehow part of his faith to reunite with this person or uh, with this queen of swords this could this queen of swords could be an earth sign uh could be like a gemini libra or aquarius but you know i don't want to put you know, a sign to a certain energy because the Queen of Swords could also be another different sign, you know, and, and just have these attributes at the same time, you know. Um, so, but since he is represented as this King of Wands, I can sort of see him um, becoming much more passionate about maybe pursuing this person or going to talk to this person. I think that also with the judgment, he's definitely... Um, also like sort of getting a call, you know, like, like 
getting into a place of awareness about his relationships and maybe this person that is from his past somehow reappears or he runs into this person or he has the possibility to see them again and and i think that he has some pendant conversations there's something about them their bond that is sort of unfinished you know they probably need to talk or they need to spend more quality time to sort of you know rekindle or maybe to con reconnect uh, of what was left at some point you know because the judgment is like okay we are sort of bringing the past back because you need to learn a lesson so he's definitely going to learn a lot when it comes to his private life and this queen of, of swords is is very interesting because this queen of swords also comes with the six of pentacles that it has to do with equality and it has to do with um them being on the same page i think that this queen of swords also is a very intelligent person she's very straightforward she's very intelligent she's she has a like a very spontaneous um personality and she's very um she's very outspoken she she she's very real you know she has her character as well so i don't see her just you know coming back and just going straight to his arms and being like oh i want to be much more than friends no i can sort of see her also putting a bit of distance at first you know and being like okay you know i will give back i will give you what you give me you know the six of pentacles is like okay if you want us to you know, reunite, or if you want us to try to see if we can see each other again, it has to be under the terms of equality and reciprocity. I think that she's like, you know, I feel like in the past I put much more effort than you, or I really, like, I'm really, I really think that neither of us was fair enough to the other maybe one was taken or the other one was busy or the other one had personal issues there was always a disbalance between the two of them you know one was too available and the other one wasn't so i think that she also comes back to be like you know whatever you have to give me you know i will match your energy like i don't want to waste my potential with you like i really I, I i don't want you to sell me a fairy tale just tell me what you want out of this she's also very straightforward very conf a bit confrontational i would say but she's like you know no bs this time please like don't make me waste my time so definitely this queen of swords has also gone through something um in the past or very recently that maybe her relationships also had ended in a very abrupt way or she she is still recovering herself from something so i think that she's also in this period of like you know like don't sell me fantasies like just tell me what you want out of me or out of this that we have just be clear because i am very clear myself like i am i'm, I'm really like my vision is so clear right now in 2025 so yeah let's not fool around we are you know you are a king i am a queen we are both mature so please you know if we are reuniting let's do this right um so definitely and, and also i think that she's not She's not looking, she's not like, oh, I want a commitment out of you. No, she's not being pretentious. She probably also in, in her own energy, she probably doesn't even know what she wants out of him. But she sort of understands the signs, you know. She's like, okay, if we are running into each other again, it's because maybe we have something pendant. And I believe they do. So, yeah, this, this woman is going to be very important for him in 2025. That I think that this is like the most positive thing I can, I can sort of see for him in the first part of 2025. Um, because honestly, his work, it seems a bit, a bit messy at first. But yeah, I think that he's a very intelligent and also a strategic man. So at the end, I can see him getting the change in his career that he wants but is going to have a period of where he will have to maybe give in a bit or 
just negotiate. You know, I see a lot of discussions. But yeah, with the handman, you know, as the energy of his ear, um, definitely I, I see him that he has to maybe take a pause or just take it slow and observe. And that whatever obstacle appears is for him to get more wisdom, to get much more wiser. It's not a curse. It's not that, you know, the world is against him. No, it's more about him just learning to deal with um you know the people around him and maybe you know if there's some people that are fake that really are not good for him you know that the the, the masks will fall off and he will be able to see who his real people are but definitely this queen of swords is special for him and and will definitely be worth it if it will be worth it to invest in her so yeah guys this is all i have for him i hope that you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video Bye.